Today I want to have a look at a company that most of you guys know and probably love and that company is McDonald's. So when we plug in the ticker of McDonald's MCD into our stock screener, you can see that all the metrics show up automatically. And the reason why I want to have a look at McDonald's specifically today is that it is getting towards its 52 week low, sitting at $258 currently and its 52 week low was at $245 about half a year ago. If I come over to the right side, we can see that the analysts project the price of $316 by the end of the year, but I don't really like to trust analysts, and that's why today we will use four valuation methods, the Grams formula, the discounted cash flow model, the multiples valuation model, and the dividend discount model to figure out the intrinsic value of McDonald's and figure out whether you should buy the company now or wait for it to drop even lower. And as always, if you do like these valuation sheets, you can check them out at my Patreon in the link in the description. Now let's jump straight to the evaluation and first let's have a look at McDonald's dividends. We can see that the dividend yield is sitting at 2.59%, which is a great dividend for a dividend growth company. And that gives us a dividend payout of $6.68 per share per year and a trading free cash flow payout ratio of 65.18%. Again, a very decent free cash flow payout ratio. Now let's jump to the 9 pit analysis and here we will have a look at McDonald's history over the past 5 years and really figure out whether the company is doing good internally as when we are buying into a stock we are buying a part of a business and we should know the business inside out. So we can see that the 5 year PE ratio and that the price to free cash over the past 5 years are both sitting above the values we like to see and this essentially means that McDonald's is trading at a premium but that should be expected for big brands such as McDonald's. Now apart from that we can see that McDonald's revenue has been growing at about 5% a year over the past 5 years as well as their free cash flow and their net income and McDonald's has also been decreasing their shares outstanding which means that they have been buying back shares at a rate of about 3% per year which is great as it means that you will own a larger percentage of the company with time. Now the only thing I don't really like about McDonald's is the long term liabilities over the 5 year free cash flow negative dividends which should be sitting at 3 which would mean that the company can pay off all their long term liabilities within about 15 years but McDonald's ratio is sitting at 5. But if we scroll down to the financials and find free cash flow and long term liabilities we can see that over the past 5 years the long term liabilities have been increasing but that the free cash flow has been increasing as well. So, so far the long term liabilities over the 5 year free cash flow shouldn't be that big of an issue as long as we have free cash flow increasing at a rate that could cover the long term liabilities increasing. Now let's find the intrinsic value of McDonald's and jump to our first valuation model, the Grams formula. Here we will take the trailing earnings per share of McDonald's over the past 5 years and multiply by the earnings per share, the 5 year growth estimate and the growth rate multiplier, then multiply everything by the average yield on a corporation bond sitting at 4.4 and then divide everything by the short term average yield on a corporation bond sitting at about 3.6 and that would give us an intrinsic value of $257.58, only about $1 lower than the current trading price of the company. And this shows us that compared to McDonald's stock price, its earnings is fairly well valued. Now we can move to our next valuation model, the discounted cash flow model. And here we take a look at McDonald's free cash flow and at McDonald's future free cash flow. And we will do this by taking the free cash flow over the past 5 years and calculating the average growth rate which is sitting at about 11%. We will then calculate our own growth rate which we will use to project the future free cash flow. I plugged in mine at 5%. And then to calculate the present value of that future free cash flow, we have to plug in a discount rate, which I plugged in at 6%. And then summing all of that up, we will get an intrinsic value of $282.32, which is about $20 higher than the current trading price. Now moving to our next valuation model, the multiples valuation model, and here we will compare McDonald's to companies which operate in the similar sector. So in this case brand companies which sell food and beverages such as Starbucks, Yum on Wendy's. 
So we'll take this company's current stock prices and divide by their earnings per share to get their PE ratios. We'll then average out these three PE ratios and get an average PE ratio, which we will multiply by the earnings per share of McDonald's and get an intrinsic value of $251.80, which is slightly lower than the current trading price. And what this shows us is that at the current time, McDonald's might be slightly overvalued to companies which operate in the same sector. Now we can move to our final valuation model, which is the dividend discount model. And here we'll value McDonald's based on its dividend payouts and based on its dividend growth. So we will calculate the average historical growth rate sitting at 8.06% using our historical data. I will project a growth rate of 6% into the future and using that we would normally calculate our intrinsic value. But as the WAC of the company is lower than the projected growth rate, we have to use our alternative model as the dividend discount model comes out negative because of the math within. So using our alternative model, we'll take the next year's dividend sitting at 6.92, which we'll calculate using our projected growth rate, and we'll take the stock price next year predicted by analysts. We'll then use the WAC to calculate the intrinsic value of the company, which will be sitting at $305.65. Now moving to our ultimate valuation, here we will average out the four valuation models we did and arrive to an intrinsic value of $274.34, which is 6.29% higher than the current trading price of the company, which is only slightly lower than the current trading price and fairly close to the 52-week low of McDonald's about half a year ago. Now I currently don't own McDonald's in my personal portfolio and I don't plan on buying it anytime soon, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be a good addition to your portfolio. With that, if you'd like to download the spreadsheets, you can do so at my Patreon at the link in the description and make sure to let me know down in the comments which company you'd like me to evaluate next.